In this video, let's talk about parallel lines and perpendicular lines and how their slopes are correlated. So let's get right into it. All right, let's draw out two parallel lines on a graph and then just think about them. Notice how when this line goes one unit to the right on the x-axis, the y value goes two units up. Okay, so that means that when x changes one unit, y changes two units. So in terms of a slope, which is defined by the change in y values divided by the change in x values, this means that the slope value would be two over one, which makes our slope equal to two. And as you can see, the y-intercept sits at 0, 1 for this line. Aha! So we can use the slope-intercept form to get the equation of this line by plugging in the, well, slope and y-value of the intercept to get the following. Cool. Now I want you to think about this parallel line. Notice how its y-intercept is sitting at 0, 3. This means that our y-intercept is 3. Good. And what would our slope be? Well, if you look at it, as the x-axis changes by one unit, the y-value changes by two units. So again, this means that our slope for this graph is also two, the same as this line that we just looked at. Aha! So it looks like these two lines have the exact same slope. Now, it turns out to be the case that in fact all parallel lines have the same slope. And this kind of makes sense. After all, if we took one of these lines and then changed the slope a bit, making it a little smaller, then it's only a matter of time before this line will cross the other line. Of course, this would make the two lines not parallel. So let's make those lines parallel again. And now, let's see what happens if we change the slope just a bit to make it a bit bigger than 2. Well, as you can see, once again, these lines are not parallel since they would end up intersecting each other down here instead. So, if you think about it this way, it becomes obvious that two lines that have the same slope will always be parallel. Awesome! Now, what about the slopes of perpendicular lines? First of all, what's a perpendicular line? Well, a perpendicular line is a line that intersects another line at a 90 degree angle. So these lines, although they do intersect, do not intersect at a 90 degree angle, and thus they would not be perpendicular. Good. So let's represent this graphically. So one easy way to think about perpendicular lines is that they will have a slope that is a negative reciprocal of each other. What we mean by negative reciprocal is that, for example, if one of the lines had a slope of 3, then to get the slope of this perpendicular line, we would need to multiply this 3 by negative 1, and then have the whole thing as a denominator like this, which is negative 1 over 3. Therefore, the slope of this perpendicular line would be negative 1 over 3. Awesome! So let's say I gave you this equation. Which of the following lines would be perpendicular to this line? Well, since we are looking for a line that is perpendicular to this line, we need to start off by looking at the slope, which we know as being the m or the value in front of the x in the slope intercept form. So we can identify that as being the one over two for the slope. Now, we will just write a new m here with this symbol to indicate that it's the perpendicular version of the slope that we're looking for. So, like we did earlier, we need to find the negative reciprocal of this by first multiplying it by negative 1 to get the following. Then all we need to do is have the whole thing as a denominator with 1 as the numerator, like so. Well, what is 1 divided by negative half anyways? Well, if we simplify it, it's negative 2. 
Therefore, our perpendicular equation of this line is y equals negative 2x plus 4, which makes c the correct answer here. Awesome! So, just remember that parallel lines will always have the same slopes, and that perpendicular lines will always have slopes that are negative reciprocals of each other. Well then, remember to try some more questions, guys, and we will see you in the next lesson.